everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to have a bit of a chit chat life update. I haven't planned it as well as I would have liked to. We're just going to go ahead and roll with it. I'm almost done with my Invisalign treatment. Go ahead and go to my Instagram to see some before and after pictures. Probably when the treatment is done I will go ahead and do a YouTube video about it. But go ahead and go on over to Instagram to hear about it a little bit more in detail. If not, just wait for the YouTube video, which will be up November-ish. Well, as you guys probably saw from the title, I'm going to be talking about some life changes, I guess career changes, um, starting with the fact that obviously I've had a pretty big transformation when it comes to my fitness addiction, which is turning out to be, I think, definitely my passion and what I enjoy doing. If you don't know, I am a doula, but it looks like I'm going to be swinging over into something more fitness-based. I am currently looking into apprenticeships to learn more about becoming a trainer and a life coach and stuff like that. Doulaing is not really working right now and hasn't been over the course of the pandemic due to the fact that they have been trying to keep the hospital rooms as low capacity as possible. So I do have a little bit more free time on my hands now with Darian starting kindergarten. Um, he's only in there until 12.30 and then the kids in school until about one o'clock every day. Still don't have heaps of time as you can see, but I have talked about becoming a midwife in the past. Obviously since I have to look after my family still pretty full time and just make sure that everybody's okay, the nature of both of those things just don't really sound logistic right now and with my medical condition fibromyalgia I feel like it would just set me on a rampage for a lot of health issues with the amount of stress it would cause. This may come to a surprise to some of you but I don't actually see birth work as something that I would want to pursue in the grand scheme of things. Even though I do miss being a doula and I really enjoyed the experiences that I had thus far, I actually was beginning to get a bit burned out of birth. Though I can still talk about it for freakishly long periods of time, I definitely have other things that come before talking about birth. I actually do have a threshold when it comes to my passion for birth, but it does not seem that I do when it comes to going to the gym and talking about fitness and food and health related topics. So why I had thought more about becoming a nurse was because I just overall was more interested in learning about the overall human body. Um, birth was just a little bit too limiting for me. It just wasn't diverse enough. I'm a very multifaceted person who needs a lot of stimulation in order to be happy and birth just didn't deliver it for me 100%. Not to say that birth doesn't have a lot of spontaneity to it. I still think that there is just a lot more to be learned when it comes to overall physiology. So that's why I decided to look into nursing. But now, like I said, because I have fibromyalgia, I don't know that nursing is for me at this time when I still am looking after my family quite immensely. My main focus over the last six months has just been getting myself out of a bit of a dark hole that I dug for myself during the course of the pandemic and just looking after my health. And I realized that my real passion was for keeping people out of the hospital as much as possible. So I would rather look more into things like nutrition and health coaching and obviously training over caring for sick people. It's still gonna be a lot of work, I'm sure, but because I am so passionate about it, I feel like I'm a lot less likely to get burnout from it. If you don't know, my training sessions are five days a week um, and two and a half, to three hours long. Arm days can be a little bit shorter, like maybe an hour to an hour and a half. And I don't even dislike it. Like I could stay longer, but obviously I have other things to do. <laughs> I was actually beginning to think what a blessing it is that I do enjoy 
fitness as much as I do because like I said, for my condition fibromyalgia, I have been recommended to work out a minimum of two hours a day and get up a proper sweat. So to my luck, but also due to my consistency, I am able to make that logistic for me. I know not everyone can, but I would definitely like to try to help people squeeze it into their lifestyle as much as possible. Because believe it or not, I have not always been this fitness addict. If you don't know, I weighed 100 pounds more than I do today. I have had ups and downs with the journey. It has not always been so easy. Sorry about all the noises with the Invisalign today. It's a new set. I also had to start at the bottom, um, but let me tell you, it is so worth it to get to a place in your fitness journey where it is just routine and you have something that you're passionate about. And trust me, no matter who you are, you will find something you are passionate about. I have tried so many different kinds of things. I've been a swimmer competitively in high school to basically sedentary to not doing anything. I have gone to fitness classes. I've tried Zumba. I jog. I obviously take care of my family, which can be a workout, um, but now I have found weight training and that is like my thing. Like I could spend so much time researching it and doing it, but of course there's a limit to how much weight training you can do in a day. And overall, let me tell you guys, the difference I've seen in my physique through weight training and also just my overall mood and vibrancy in my life it has changed me the most. I used to be a bit of a cardio junkie. I used to go to like maybe two cardio classes back to back and I can see both physical and mental differences between weight training and the cardio junkie lifestyle. Now don't get me wrong, if cardio is your favorite thing to do, do it. But I'm just gonna call it the cardio junkie phase because I realized how it just wasn't helping me personally. So I mainly started strength training to get results <laughs> that I wanted. Um, I was looking to just tighten and firm things up. A lot of people think that strength training will make you bulky. That couldn't be further from the truth. It just helps you spot sculpt, you could say, because with cardio and crunches and a lot of body weight training, there's not a lot that can be done. You're just gonna lose weight the way you lose weight. Whereas with strength training, though you can't spot reduce or spot gain, you can spot sculpt. I've noticed the most differences in my body composition through doing it this way. So that was like the initial reason why I started it, but it has given me so much more. The results took so much longer than the other sources of pleasure I got from it. As a matter of fact, the results do take a very, very long time, I will say, and a lot of consistency. Definitely what I have enjoyed the most and what it has brought me the most is what I feel like is more confidence and feeling like I can achieve really difficult things if I just stick my mind to it and stay consistent. I mean, I have managed to achieve things that I did not think were possible. I'm still working on my pull-ups. <laughs> but I can now deadlift 50 kilos, so 100 pounds. Um, I can't believe I can pick that much up with my tiny hands and wrists. I can now hip thrust over 200 pounds, which is almost as much as I used to weigh. I am still working my way up to hip thrusting my old self. I can almost do a pull up with about 15 kilograms of my weight gone. I have a machine that helps you with a little bit of counterweight and I'm 15 kilos a bit too heavy to pull myself up but that's okay I'm gonna keep keep working on it because I don't really want to lose any more weight which speaking of obviously I have lost quite a bit of weight because I'm a pretty active person uh, right now I am currently working on maintaining my weight which is proving to be difficult with how active I like to stay but I'm just gonna be upping my calories and I will be documenting all of that on here, on YouTube, I think what I would really like to stick to is more food and fitness related content because I just want to create content that I enjoy. I will no longer be forcing content that I'm not 100% excited to talk about for the sake of views. The weight training has helped me so much with my fibromyalgia. I feel like my bones click less, which weight training does help with 
bone density and helps prevent osteoporosis and women tend to be more prone to osteoporosis and stuff like that so weight training definitely has a huge amount of benefits for women as well. I'm just honestly overall just so happy with everything weight training has given me and I would like to see other people enjoy it too and if you're fascinated about it I want to share it more. The results have honestly just been an awesome byproduct of the training and what's so cool about weight training is you're never really fully done. You always keep going and it just keeps getting harder and harder like you just have to keep leveling up and I love that like I said I like things that are infinite. I'm sure especially since I provided a before and after picture a lot of people will want to know like how I did it and everything. I will just be creating kind of a series of videos of my routines because that's all it is is habit. It's not a miracle diet plan. I don't believe in those. Um, you have to figure out ways to make fitness a habit and you don't have to spend hours in the gym. I can cut my leg days in half easily. I just choose to take my time and sometimes I try new things and some days I only do leg day for an hour and a half to two hours. You could definitely do it in one hour. It doesn't have to be this super time consuming thing and it can fit into anyone's schedule and it can be done at home too. I prefer it in the gym. I love the gym environment, but it can be done at home too. There really is no magic plan or secret recipe. I don't believe in these 30 day challenges and stuff like that. Like it has to be sustainable and slow. Taking it slow is really important. Obviously it hinders the amount of time till you get to the results, but it's not about the results. I can't stress that enough. It's about becoming a healthier and stronger version of yourself and the results are a byproduct of that. I am pretty happy with my results though. I am obviously slimmer. My waist circumference is probably the smallest it's been since before I had kids, maybe even smaller than before I had kids. So I am a lifter now. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm looking into getting quite serious with it. And even if I don't end up pursuing it my whole life, I don't think I'll ever regret learning more about the anatomy and about muscles and um, learning how to use the equipment more appropriately and trying to help people become happy with their workout regimes and not see it as a chore like that's my ultimate goal is to just see people start to glow and get happy because they enjoy fitness and they don't see it as a chore anymore because it's so much fun trust me i i mean i have been there i have been where everyone is where they think it's a drag. I'm telling you, it gets better. You just have to keep going. You might not get to the point where I am where you're completely obsessed, but you will get to the point where you do enjoy it and you will see and feel the benefits from it. And I'm just so excited. I'm not a huge team sport or competitive sport person. I do like to work with other people, but I'm more interested in people just becoming a better version of themselves and competing with their previous self um, because everyone is on such a different journey and has such a different lifestyle. I really don't, I don't know. Everyone's different, but I'm not really into competitive sports and I would never enter like a competitive weight bodybuilder thing. I also don't have any weird ambitions to get like super huge. I just really like challenging myself and upping my game and beating my previous self. So that's the life update. <laughs> kind of random and rambly, but my teeth are almost straight. I've, um, I feel like I'm back to being my vibrant self after the pandemic hit. I was in a pretty big low. I physically look better because I have my gym back and because I have my life back and I have inspiration back. And dueling, I don't think it's for me. Even if I had the option, I don't think I would go back. Maybe as a hobby because I, at this point in time, I would be really happy getting a job at the gym. You know, it's just so my vibe. Like the people who work in there, they're so cool. They're like talking about life problems with people, helping them get fit and happy. Everyone's wearing gym clothes, hair in a ponytail. It's just my vibe. So it's more than a hobby. I'd love to take it to the next level. And that's my current 
mission. I just don't know how I'm gonna go about it because there's so many ways to. If anyone has any ideas, you can leave it in the comment section below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this random rambly video. I'm really happy with where I am at, even though I am currently not in England, which we could even talk about that because my current career changes does kind of play an impact on the odds of me getting to England you could say, because becoming a nurse or a midwife would have been a much smarter route to take to make England happen, so I could talk about that if you want. <laughs> Not today though. Like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm sorry for always being the world's most random person. It's just how I am. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go because I have to get the kids soon, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!